Hello again. In the last couple of videos, we've been looking at measuring and um, we've been using a pencil and I've been showing you how to measure um, whatever it is that you're drawing. Now that is really, really important in today's um, tutorial because we're going to be looking at foreshortening. So foreshortening, foreshortening is something like this. Let's look at something easy like a boat. Now, um, you know when it was with a boat, a boat is longer from the front to the back than it is the transom at the back there. Your brain is always going to want to draw that, even if that doesn't exist. So here we are. This is this is a boat from a different angle. This is the boat seen from the back. Now that looks in your brain that will look longer than that, but actually, if I measure it. Can you see it's the same length? So with measuring, you must trust your measuring. You cannot ever trust your brain because your brain is going to want to interfere and it wants to draw what it knows, not what it sees. So you probably haven't got a boat handy. So what I suggest you do, I've got something, um, if you go into the, into the garage and raid the garage, you um, come up with some handy tools. And I've, I've chosen that, which is a hammer. Now again, we've got something which has got a long shaft and um, a short edge there. Uh, what I want you to do is to elevate it and put it like that so that you've got the shaft coming towards you. Now, we go back to this idea of measuring. And if I measure again, I'd stretch my, lock my arm, stretch my arm, and I'm going to measure this bit um, across the top. So that's there to there. Then I'm going to turn my hand. And what I find is the measurement across the top from there to there is the same as from there to there even though it doesn't look it in my brain, and that's the measurement that I have to trust. Once I've got um, the measurement, and I can trust that measurement, I then do the drawing. Um, it, it's fairly easy across the top. This is the tricky bit here, because your brain is going to want to make it longer. So what you have to do is just sit and relax. Now remember, it takes a little while for your eyes to adjust. I'm squinting at that and I'm just sitting there until I actually see that as a shape. And I see a shape like that. That's the shape I see and that's the shape that I'm going to draw. And that's going to give me the shape of a foreshortened shaft of, of um, a hammer there. When you've done that, what I suggest you do is go to have another route around and do the same. Here we've got a saw. And again, probably you'd, you'd measure across that. Look, the, from, from it seems to be that measurement there is the same as from there to there. Find find some measuring points that work for you. Um, and there's a chisel and the same. I mean, that's about that there is about the same as that. That from there to there is there. Um, so choose about four or five different tools. Um, the important thing is to relax so you can see the shape, but trust your measurement, don't trust your brain. Thank you for watching.